This is the Tyrrell P34, a six-wheeler F1 car. And not only does it have six wheels, it sounds incredible. I mean, you heard that engine start up. <laughs> it's got a ridiculously amazing sounding engine. That, that is... That is petrol head music, that is. Oh, mate, the onboard's just as crazy as well as the engine sounds. Oh, hoo -hoo. that is such a good sound. This, this is the sound of Formula One. Oh, okay. Six wheels on the wagon, very difficult to handle. But like, can we talk about this onboard actually some more compared to the audio? I mean, this is so weird. Seeing four small tyres. And also, I want to add, look how massive the rear tyres are in comparison to the front tyres. Like, it's ridiculous. It's like a dragster F1 car. This thing is a handful. This thing is a real handful. <laughs> right, um, let's just dive into a race. Come on, because this is just going to be chaos. Let's be having you uh, an Imola Grand Prix, a couple of Tyrrell P34s. We got the Ferraris behind us and the Lotus ahead. Lights out and away we go. And the best part is I get to listen to these other cars also going off around me. Just a symphony of amazing engines and uh, a load of death traps around me because my word, the handling is very sketchy to say the least. Oh, yeah, sliding it through every corner. I think it's honestly, you know, the, just the sheer difference in tyre size, I think is really making a balance problem. Despite the spreaded surface area that four tyres gives you at the front and contact patch with the road, I think just the sheer size difference is really... Oh, and one of our teammates has taken out one of the loaders. Um, I was saying, yeah, I think, I mean, look at it. It just looks like an actual drag, dragster car, like a comical dragster car. Not really a fully fledged F1 car. Oh, just about keep within the confines, skating across the curbs. This one, usually flat out nearly in modern cars. This one, no, hold it. No, damn it, damn it. Spin around, spin around. Right, I need to catch back up. We now got a couple of Ferraris to overtake, but. You know, the Lotus cars, are, you know, that original old, old, old school F1 car. They should be... Oh. What? I, where did he come from? I didn't even know he was there. Bro, where did this man come from? I was just taking it. Look at the dive bomb from the orange number three. Right, we're going again. It wouldn't be in a set of course of video without a one cheeky little restart to get us going. Let's try and see if we can actually make it and survive this car to the end of lap three. Oh, it's going to be tight. I'm going to go around the outside. Let's, uh, well, there's no Leclerc this time to take me out of this racing line, but squeeze on through. Heavy on the brakes. Oh, a oh, oh. little bit on the grass, but we have slowed it down sufficiently. And I'm getting, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Right, I've got the Ferrari to contend with now. This car really is just a death trap. Close, but not going to make an overtaking move. Just going to try and size this up. Power gain as the two cars ahead of us. The two other Tyrrells going side by side. We're gaining on the Ferrari. Oh, it's a dive bomb. It's not worked. It's not worked. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. This thing has stability issues. It really does. Try that one again. Right. Get through the inside here. Lovely. Making moves, making some uh, slipstreams going on. We're going to go down the inside, become the lead Tyrrell to try and get through these Lotus cars. Nice. Oh, this is good. Oh, 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 <laughs> very unstable there in third gear. Going to have to really just take it easy mid corner because the balance, the weight shift is disgusting as we try and go around the outside. You make one little quick. Oh, God. You make one quick adjustment and this car just wobbles. Cool, we're now the second Tyrrell. This is the lead Tyrrell up ahead. We're all closing on these slower Lotus cars. Some real caution needed. Second gear for the... the, the oh, 
Wow, okay, that one just decided just to just screw the curves and test the suspension out. Can we make a cheeky dive bomb on the inside? Break a little bit later than he can. Oh, side by side, all four wheels touching each other there through the chicane. And we're still going on the exit. This is turning into a battle and a half here with the other Tyrrell. I think he's still there on the inside. I'm going to try and get to the inside though myself. Squirms around a little bit. Roll the body through down to second gear. Find the grip. Let those big, beefy rear tyres spin up and get the power down. And then we can try and mince the Lotus on the straight. Come on, gain. Do we not have the legs for the Lotus? And the Lotus actually may be quicker than us in a straight line. But surely we have the better tyre grip. Oh, no, don't. Touch the grass there. That was nasty. Right, easy. Second gear, not too much throttle. Now we can get the power on. Oh, bit of a bit of a wobble there. It's fine, it's fine. Hold it. This is a nightmare, it really is. Handful of a car. Big handful. Right, easy. Over. Nice. Just just roll. Roll through. Let those four small tires do a lot of work. Nice. Right, on the outside, come on, yes, no, accelerate, the Lotus has me actually, the Lotus is actually quicker out of the corners than this Tyrrell, oh, oh no, back tyre on the grass, <laughs> yeah, last time we did a wacky F1 car video with that Brabham fan car, we were actually pissing on these Lotus cars, and now, what's happening, oh, that, that, changing to that camera was a mistake, What's happening? Oh, the Ferrari took me out. Out of spite. That serves me right for wanting to get a cinematic camera for a part of the lap. Absolutely done. Okay, we can chase off these Ferraris. Let's go. Let's get them. Let's get them. Come on. Oh, oh. Jesus. This car is scaring me. This is really scaring me. I'm gaining. I'm gaining on the Ferraris. We need to be very careful through this section. And I've not been. Hold it. Hold the drift. Yes. No. Yes. Somewhat. This has been the most difficult F1 car I've ever driven. Or actually just any car on a set of Corsa. The lack of grip is just unbelievable. I know they're older cars. The downforce isn't there. But, you know, even, even slowing down sufficiently and then going on the throttle when you think you could on a curb it just gets unsettled like no one's business a truly truly weird weird car and we have really not done ourselves proud in this race with it but it's because it's so bloody difficult but if you have enjoyed the video nonetheless then be sure to hit that like button let me know what you thought in the comments below if you're around here then do get subscribed for weekly formula on content i'll see you guys next time goodbye